What is up everybody, JDog1025 FTW here, and today we are doing another really cool build in Minecraft. This time, super high detailed house with survival mode in mind, so you're going to be able to build this in survival mode really easily. I'm going to go through, build the whole thing in survival mode, and then we're going to do a level by level breakdown so you know exactly how to build this thing. Alright, so we're going to build it on this plot of land right here. Now the house itself isn't actually huge floor space wise, but it's very tall and it gives off a really cool imposing look by using that extra height. Now this toolkit right here is everything that I'm going to be starting with. So you can actually build this really easily uh, in not a lot of time with very basic tools. So let's go ahead, I'm going to do a little montage of me collecting everything and building this thing and then we'll actually walk you through how to do it. And before we do that guys, for more builds, other gaming videos, hit subscribe down the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It would make a huge difference for me. It would mean a ton and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, and there we go. It took about an hour and a half, but the whole thing is done. And God, I just love the look of this house. I actually got the inspiration for it from Bryling's house from Skyrim. So if you've played Skyrim, you might know what I'm talking about. It just looks great the way that it's tall. Now, as a disclaimer, guys, I did not get the decorations in survival mode. I put those in to kind of make it look like how it might look after somebody has been playing a survival mode game for a while. But you can take a look and see how the floor layout is. I think it's really cool uh, the way that you kind of have the loft bed. You get some good views up high, have a lot of storage. This is down in the basement area. You have your own sort of um, whatever you want, crafting storage area that's accessible from a different door. Okay, now here we are taking a look at the very first layer of the build. And what we have here is basically a 9 by 10 cube with a 5x5 five five cube stuck on the front. Now make sure to take note of the stair block that's starting the stairs. That is all the way over by where that 5 carat is facing upwards and the door hole. Alright so now taking a look at the second layer up, it's very similar. Pretty much you're going to bring everything up one block obviously. Put in some stair blocks for the crenellation moldings on the front side near those pillars. And we are going to extend our staircase up another block for the front door. And then lastly, just don't forget to put in those uh, pillars for the deck on the back side. Alright, moving up another layer, we've put in some upside down stair blocks for the planter out front. And as well, just laying all those wooden floors inside. Alright, so we got a lot of things going on on this next layer. We've got the start of those really long windows in the back as well as the railing around the back deck. The start of the staircase as you can see in that dark wood right there. And everything else you can kind of just trace out on your own. Just do your best. Alright, so there's a lot going on on this next floor right here. Now what we've done is we have leveled up those back windows. We've put in our front and back door put in our windows where we need be and also don't forget those posts for the little storage area above the sort of kitchen area over to the bottom left hand side of the house. Leveled up the staircase and we've put in the staircase again for that storage area. Alright so taking a look at the third layer of the first floor what we've done is put some stone over our front door and on the back door we've actually put a piece of fence over it. We've brought up those windows and we've just put a layer on everything. As well we've constructed the floor for the storage area above the kitchen and we've put in some bookshelves underneath the stairs. Okay so moving on up this is where things might start to get a little bit complicated because what we're doing is adding in the roof. Now these are obviously just oak stairs with a one overhang, one block overhang on each side that they're placed. 
Now as well, we've put in some chests and continued the floor up, and we have put in that sort of uh, chandelier light hanging thing over on the right hand side. Okay, on this next floor, we've brought some stone pieces up as you can see, and we've brought the roof up another level. And what we've done in the back is connected the second level of the roof going all the way around. Okay, so this level is pretty self-explanatory. We've brought the roof up yet again, and we've connected all four corners of the roof now, and then just put some stone in between while bringing our staircase up. On the next level up, we've added in a bunch of our windows and shutters while just bringing the stairs and the walls up. Okay, so moving up, we have put in the floor now, finally for the bedroom landing, and we've done all of our upside down stairs that are going to be the supports for the roof. Okay, so even I had to look at this for a second again to remember what's going on. So now what you're going to want to do is do a layer of cobblestone all around those wooden upside down stairs that you just did. And once you do that, you can place on the sides a row of stairs going across. Of course, overhanging one on the front and back, and then what you're going to do is on that overhang piece, put in upside down stairs. And now what you're going to do on that upside down stair piece is place another regular stair, and that's going to be the start of your next row going up, and then again, put another upside down stair on that overhang. And as you can see here, I've knocked some blocks out and put fence posts in there to make a little dormer. As well, we have the windows and shutters going in. And finally, guys, we're just going to continue the pattern up, put in some slabs for those dormers, and we are done. And then what I did was just use a few slabs to make those sort of decoration pieces hanging off the front and back gable. And that is it guys. I know this one was a little bit harder to follow along to than the last one, but let me know how you liked it. Um, did I do a good job? What could I improve on? I'd love to hear it. You guys have been so supportive lately and the channel's been growing and I'm just super, super happy. So I want to say thank you again. Please like, comment, subscribe, bottom right hand side of the screen. I'd love to add you guys to the family. I read all the comments and uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much, and uh, without further ado, have a good one, and enjoy your new place if you built it.